programme that is a joint project with the um, Department of Education, DEFRA and Natural England has made great progress reaching so many more schools in Leicester hopefully making a difference to those children that really need it that have been cooped up in home during this pandemic and are so happy to be back out and out into the fresh air. What have you made of the eight weeks? Well for us with the Covid situation as well it's been amazing because we knew the children needed to be outside and this has really shown us what can be done with the ground that we have and the reviews from the children they have been so excited and learned absolutely loads. This area has become more and more important especially now it's really high profile and I think what she has done is shown us how to use it to its full extent and kind of given us avenues that maybe we haven't thought about because when you're teaching inside there is so much to do anyway things like this can potentially drop off the end so I can see another part of the school improvement plan to include outdoor learning in the nature area. What have you made of the eight weeks here? Yeah, I never made a den before and I never knew how to make a den and um, now I got taught how to make a den and make a cedar and um, it's been really nice going outside. What has it been like working with Sheila for the past eight weeks? Um, it's been good because it's given us a hundred of experience and I think she, she taught us really well. She's one of the teachers who's actually taught us about the nature resources. Like every Monday she will tell us more and more things. Would this be something that you would go home over like half term and, and do with your friends outside of school? Yeah, I, I, I will because because um, it would be such a shame if we lose it and I can show other people my skills and it wouldn't be me who's taught them over my knowledge, it would be from Sheila. So I feel like Sheila would teach, teach everybody a good experience so that we can tell other people that she doesn't know. How important is it that the school maintains keeping this? It's instantly a really beautiful place to just come to if you are really tired or angry or you just want to relax a bit and you can walk around it and admire the view. There's so many different things in there. But we even have a few animals like shrews, we have birds, all kinds of birds. But to see these all gone would be a real shame. New children who are coming in, in nursery or reception, they won't be able to experience this, um, this beauty. And it's just such a privilege to have. A